One of the most exciting rums I think taking over the cocktail world is Plantation. And they only have a couple different ones to try. Just a few. Just a few. So we decided to try as many as we can get our hands on and make it into a daiquiri. And just as a reminder, please drink responsibly. And if you're not going to drink responsibly, at least drink at home or get a cab. Or have a wife that drinks responsibly to take care of you when you don't. I ain't taking care of you. So Carl. Yes, Riley. Why? The question's not why. The question should be why not? Why not try all of these wonderful rums and see what the difference are? Explain it to the people. For the people. Okay, but as the one who has to guess, <laughs> why? <laughs> I think some of these will be easier to guess than others. Well, I would hope so I with hope the so. pineapple <laughs> and the OFTD. Yeah, right. Ever since we started buying it, our first bottle that we ever bought was the pineapple. We mm -hmm. bought that and we were just amazed by how good it works in cocktails. I don't even remember that. Oh, we did the upgraded painkiller with that. Yes. That was one of the first cocktails we made with that. And then we bought the three star white rum uh -huh. to see how much different that was than Bacardi. So I thought it would be a great idea to try each of the plantation rums that we could get our hands on and try it in one of the best cocktails that I love, a daiquiri. Cause it's going to let the liquor sing while giving some nice flavor. You can support us by our coasters that we're selling. Yes. We're doing a pre-order of coasters, links in the description. They are cocktail coasters with different recipes on them. The four cocktails on these coasters are the Sazerac, the Manhattan, the Negroni, and the Old Fashioned. So yeah, by pre-ordering these, you get 10% off with using the coupon code COASTERS. Again, just supporting our channel, and then maybe we can eventually afford the other three plantation rum cocktails. <laughs> Or like bottles. bottles. <laughs> so uh, how long is that coupon code go for? You know what? We're not going to put an end date on it. You see it on there? You order the first set, you get 10% off. Because okay. we love you guys. For new customers. New customers. Let's get this party started. I am ready to have a daiquiri because Should... it is warm in here. It is warm in here. Should we start? Okay, so we have the original three star, pineapple, okay. original dark, OFTD, which they say stands for old fashioned traditional dark. There's another thing that that stands for, which will pop up right now. Yep. We have but this is their overproof rum. Overproof rum, 69%. Yikes. Their age five years, Isle of Fiji. How do you say this one? Eczemaka. Zymaka. Zymaka. And then this one, their 20th year anniversary, their XO. So that has been sitting on our shelf for months. Months. It's been so tempting to just open it up. And, and I just took the plastic off. We just took the plastic Before we off. hit record. All right, let's start with this pineapple one. I definitely, obviously we created the upgraded painkiller. We fat washed some stuff, used the pineapple. Definitely check out that video. We got eight rums to try. Yeah. And then eight gonna, daiquiris to and try. And daiquiris to drink. Oh, man. This is the definition of not drinking responsibly. This is, the nose is so sweet. It's got, mm -hmm. it's just a sweet pineapple. Yeah, and I know I read on the back of the bottle that they, they macerate the rind of the pineapple. Yeah. And which is where the essential oils are, which right. is how they get the flavor. So it's not like the sweet fruity pineapple, it's more of the pineapple essential oil mm -hmm. smell and flavor. It smells so good. So it doesn't add too much extra sweetness and it's very pleasant. There's just a little bit of funk mm -hmm. in there, but like barely anything. Yeah. And the pineapple is just subtle. It's not like smacking the face pineapple. Right. But it is definitely there. Yeah, you kind of have to search for it. Mm -hmm. I do remember it being brought out more in cocktails. Right, because you're using the ingredients to enhance it. Right, to, you're opening but, it up a little bit. Right. Overall, I love this rum. Mm -hmm. This is probably my favorite of all of these that I've tried. Right. I think that this could be a sipping rum. On a nice ice cube, you just kind of sit in there and just enjoying it. It might take you a little bit longer to enjoy it, but I think it's, I think, on the right occasion, this would be a good one. It does burn. It does have a numbing effect on the tongue, mm -hmm. but not in such a way that makes it overbearing. Right. Um, there's really no ethanol in the smell. I think the sweetness. There's ethanol on the palate, but the palate, not in the, the smell, smell at all. Yeah, exactly. And that, it's not a bad ethanol. It's just there because I mean, it's alcohol. Right. Yeah. And what is the ABV of this? It's 40%. very tingly. Mm -hmm. And I feel like all of Plantation's rums are tingly on your tongue. Yep. So you're going to be warm. Can't wait till we start adding lime to it because it's hot in here. All right, so now we're going to try the three star, which this just adds, like I said, another dimension over like Bacardi. Um, you know, there's people out there that are going to like know bigger tasty notes on the difference between the two, but right. I'm still a Bacardi fan. In a mojito, the bottle's cheap enough for 15 bucks. It's fine. 
Like right. it just works. This is $23, which that's not much more, but if you drink as many mojitos as I go through, that really starts adding up really fast. Right, it's like a little, it's like a little bit of funk to mm -hmm. add to your white rum, to add to your Bacardi. Yeah. Um, I do think it tastes a lot more natural than Bacardi does, because mm -hmm. Bacardi to me feels- I agree. Yeah. Like has a, not chemically, but astringent right. taste. Plantation rums by nature are sweeter. Again, it kind of still has a little bit of funk flavor yeah. or smell from that flavor, but taste to it. It's very, this one has a little bit more ethanol. Mm -hmm. I'm not, again, we're not trained with tropical drinks and rum, so we no. might not get all the tasty notes as we do some of the other things that we try, but yeah. this is not, I mean, this is not not pleasant. Yeah, I mean, for the most basic of rums, mm -hmm. when you consider a white rum, it still has flavor. Oh, wow. I don't think I've actually ever tried this by itself. It's so light. Mm -hmm. It's light, has a nice viscosity to it. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of like falls into your mouth and down your throat. Like there's really no resistance. It just goes whoop yep. down there. It's good. I like I it. I mean, there's, and it doesn't tingle as much, but it still does. There's still a little bit of burn. It's on the sides of your tongue. Like if you got like one of those Mexican colas. Oh yeah. Because uh, they use a different type of sugar, I think yeah. this would work really well. But you can, and you'll be able to, and with a lime squeeze in it, basically a luba. A Cuba Libre. A Cuba Libre, yeah. I think this would be really good. Yes, that. this would be great in a Cuba Libre. If I remember the price, I don't remember the pricing of all of these. I just know the pineapple is about thirty-six to thirty-eight dollars. It's definitely on the more expensive end out of all of these. The whites, the three star, is about twenty-four dollars. I'm just gonna drink this. Yeah, and everything else I don't remember. If I can find the prices, see them up. I mean, really, but like the most expensive one was the 25, right? And do you remember the what? The 20 year? Yeah. yeah. The 20 year and the OFTD are probably the most expensive. All right, so we're gonna do the original dark double aged rum. And this one I did find interesting that it is a, is a blend of double aged rum from Barbados with a smaller quantity of rich High ester, hot still Jamaican rum. Interesting. I'm not really knowledgeable about like different regions and the, rums the and rum stuff, differences. Yeah. To me, that seems like a Ooh. very balanced blend. Right. This has a Smith and Cross. So sweet. This so has sweet. a Smith. It's like a little brother to the Smith and Cross. Yeah, it's like banana. So yeah, I mean, again, we're getting more knowledgeable about rums. I know there's tons of people that know way more rums about us. But again, we're just doing this as the average drinker who's. Yeah, I you mean, know, really, it's... You should never feel... Intimidated. It? Intimidated. Because you just got to go out there and try stuff. Right, because you're never going to know if you like it until you try it. Oh, dude, that was the easiest thing I've ever drank. Yeah, it was very nice. There was no push. Nope, didn't, didn't. This one has the least tingle so far. Mm -hmm. And there's a little bit of like a caramel from being a dark rum, yep. you know, being a darkness. Or there's a vanilla. little bit of vanilla. Yep, everything that you expect it to be done well. You know, when you think of like dark beers, there's like this kind of like resistance or like slowness of wanting to drink it. This, even though it says dark, this just went boop, right down super quick. It just... I think that's just you. It's smooth and easy drinking for something that's dark. All right, now we get to the big bad boy. 69%. Can we save him, we save him for last? Because I feel like he's going to wreck our palates. Okay. Save you, put you back. Come back to you. So now we're gonna do the five year age. Yeah, I don't know. Just yeah, just look. I just look at the label. I just really like them. Like, and they do on these because these are their special blends. These are like their these are like their original lineup, and these are like their original special blends that they take more care. Of. Mm. This one seems more citrusy. Not not citrusy in flavor, but like yeah. brightness, the brightness, brightness of citrus. Yep, I see that. Again, it cool. has, they all kind of have the same funkiness to it's it. It's kind of, but like this one I think has the least funk so far. Right. A little bit floral, mm -hmm. not a lot. And that's probably going to be from the aging in five years. That aging is going to mellow out that funkiness, I think. Yeah. So much vanilla. Mm -hmm. There's so, so much, much vanilla. I love it. There's a little bit of toffee in there at the end. Oh, yeah. A little bit, yeah, there's a huge it's cake. It's caramely mm -hmm. and toffee and vanilla. It is dessert. It is, yeah. It's like, a, you know how when you light a warm, warm vanilla sugar candle? Mm hmm That, but like, delicious. Yeah, this one definitely on the dessert side of things. That makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Like, just warm and happy. I almost don't want to finish it because I just want to like savor it. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna do the Isle of Fiji, which again, yeah, the bottle is amazing. Whoever did the artwork, 
on point. Yeah, brilliant artist. It'd be awesome if you could get like a bigger printed version of this, you know? Oh, I want to hang that up. Mm -hmm. See, this to me is Ooh. like, the. this is what I expect to smell when I smell rum. Right. There's like, it's a completely different funk than all the others. Like it's still, I'm gonna, it's not really funky, but it's like. This one's more tropical. Yeah. It has a more tropical, like if you took a bunch of tropical fruit and flowers and stuck it in a basket, this yeah. is kind of what that would smell like. Yep. Because you kind of get that aroma. There's some funk in there. A little bit. A little bit, but I think there's a big citrus, not even citrus, but. To me, this smells like a rum punch. Right. Like That's it, it smells good. like a rum punch without Right, punch. there's some pineapple in there oh, for yeah. sure. It smells great. They can make this into a cologne. Yes. I would smell tropical. I wonder. If I took the tasting notes and the smell notes mm -hmm. from the bottle yep. and mix an essential oil blend, I could probably make a soap or, or a candle. A deodorant. Deodorants are a bitch to me. Yeah, that's true. I guess Ooh, it's oaky. Mm -hmm. The finish is oaky. It's different. Like there's a bigger burn on it than I would expect there to be. Yes, it doesn't taste as fruity as it smells at all. Mm -mm. It still tastes good. Yes. But I, I kind of see though, this is why it tastes like that. Cause you yeah. can't, that smell is so gorgeous. Right. That there's no way for that to come across through taste. So it has. Right. But it does, there's an oakiness for sure in this. This is fun. This, this is, is great. Fun. Like this, this is a fun one. Yeah, this is definitely a fun one. I've been wanting, we've been wanting to do this for now almost a month. We just knew we had time to do eight. We tried getting one of our buddies to come over and do it, but I don't think he was interested in doing <laughs> that eight daiquiris, which is fine. I get it, it's a lot. Completely different flavor than I expected. And like, so far, the six that we tried, they're similar, but they're all at least distinguishably apart and different, you know? Oh yeah, there's definitely a difference in each one. Mm -hmm. Am I going to be able to pick it out in the cocktails? Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be hard. I think a couple of them are gonna be tricky. They're gonna have similar notes, I think. Obviously, some of these are going to be uh, easier than others. Easier than others. Zymaka. Zymaka. Special, Special dry. 100% pot still wrong. Yeah, there's just so much information. You just kind of want to read it all, yeah. you know? Bathroom reading material. Right. <laughs> just when the bottles are done, we'll just I'm store sorry. them under the bathroom right. sink. So. <laughs> Here we go. I have I have zero idea what this is supposed to be. Like the aisle one, you can get, oh, okay, aisle Fiji, okay, tro tropical. tropical, dark, you know? This one, I don't know what that word means. What so, is a dry rum? Yeah, I don't like, know. Like, we're about to find out. We're about to find out. This is Smith and Crossy. This is Smith, yeah. Let's say this is the funkiest smell out of all of them. Caramely? Ban yeah, huge banana. I would make this dessert when we first start dating where I'd take a, a banana and like cook it on the stove top with uh, brown sugar and coconut. Essentially banana foster with foster. coconut. With, yeah, and I put ice cream on it, but this mm -hmm. kind of tastes or smells. So it it's hits your palate like eight different times yeah. in eight different ways. It's definitely, you can, I can see now the dryness that yes. they're talking about, because it definitely dries out your tongue and your palate mm -hmm. easily. Orange. Orange. It's almost like the Pierre Pernier, or... Pierre Ferrand? Yeah. Kind of... Yeah, like a dry it, curacao. But in the... I don't, I'm not mad about it. I don't like it by itself. No, this is I not... I think this would be a good, like, split base. Split base, base yep. Yeah, I agree. Because it gives you that effect of the dryness, but still yeah. giving you some of that funkiness. But I could also see it being a sipping rum. Like, I could, I could see it being one that you just slowly enjoy. An old fashioned with this. Like yeah, like a rum old fashioned. A rum old fashioned with yeah. certain bitters and yeah. you know, I think that would go really good with it, I think. Yeah. Let us know what you guys, have any of you guys, which ones of these have you tried? I think I know like Three Star of the Pineapple and the OFTD I think are the three most popular ones I've seen other people try or comment on, but what about all these other variations? What have you guys tried like with them? What cocktails have you tried with them? I'd be interested. That one's almost bourbony. That might be why I don't like it as much. Yeah. And I think that's why I know fashion would work well because it, yeah. it has some of those characteristics. It's, in it's spicy, mm -hmm. like an old fashioned or like mm -hmm. a bourbon. Or different, however you yes. want to say it. Yes, it is very different from all the others. Mm. That's such a satisfying This noise. cork love, is badass. Yeah, it is. Got a nice little gold top on it. I love the etching on the glass mm -hmm. or on the neck of the bottle there. Yep. Like, obviously, you're paying a little bit more just for the bottle itself. And I'm okay with that in yeah. certain circumstances. And I think this is definitely one of those circumstances. Yeah, I mean, there are there are bottles that are prettier than others and they, that was a big pour. I love anything that has this weighted glass on mm -hmm. the bottom. Like my favorite rocks, double rocks glass has that weighted bottom. Right, and your new, your new favorite new uh, mixing, mixing glass. glass. Yep. Oh. oh, so much caramel. 
Oh yeah. Caramel toffee. Toffee, yeah. There's that. I mean, it so makes me think I'm smelling a Heath bar. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, it has definitely has that candy kind of smell yeah. to it. But this has the highest burn mm -hmm. so far. Oh yeah, it has a nuttiness to it. Mm -hmm. It like, like if you've never had a Heath bar, this is it pretty, like pretty damn bar. close. This is out of all of uh, maybe not all of them, but this the smell and the taste are the most similar. Yes. They, they 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 match well, yeah. and I'm not saying that in a negative way to the other rum. I'm just saying. Mm. I don't even know. Yeah, there's definitely a nuttiness to it. Yeah. What what type of nut would you say? Mm. I want to say kind of hazelnutty, but yeah. like macadamia a little bit. I think maybe. I'm not really great with my nuts to know. <laughs> maybe pecan. <laughs> I'm all nutted out. Oh, that's pecan for sure. It smells like pecan pie. Yeah. Smell it again. Yeah. It smells like pecan yeah. pie. And that's the candiness from it yeah. coming through. So this one's great. I'm I am more than happy. Whatever we paid for this, I'm I'm not. It's mad. worth it. It's worth it. Was it worth the wait? Yeah. Having it on our bar for so long. Well, yeah, because now it's worth it because I'm drinking it now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to work in a daiquiri. It's gonna be odd, for sure. Yeah. Thank you for the baby pour. This is a sippy sip. You want to do gulps of this one? No. Oh, no. That wow. smells really good. Until oh, wow. your nose burns. Wow. <laughs> I took a big old sniff. Ooh, wow. It is so sweet smelling. There's like candy citrus. Yeah. It smells like a very specific dessert mm -hmm. that I can't put my finger yeah. on. Yeah. It smells really good though. I mean, there's obviously a huge ethanol because it's 69%. You can't get past that. I mean, that is what it is. I think it's bad. What is it? I don't know. Maybe we'll have to taste it. Oh. Monkey bread. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> so it tingles a bit. Just, just a scotch. <laughs> just a sippy sip. Wait, hold up. Just, just that much. <laughs> I didn't even probably off camera. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, but at the initial, before it all kicked in, the initial taste was good. Like it, There's like a millisecond a mil uh -huh. of dessert, which I think monkey bread. So right cinnamon, when you said that, yes. Butter. Mm -hmm. it's butter. 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 That's wild. <laughs> my face is warm. Oh, mm, uh, it's. It, my, my entire body. My black body, heart is kind of. My entire body is warm from here to about <laughs> here. And yeah. then all the way down to my stomach. My shoulder blades, my shoulders. Yeah. If I, you're cold. There you go. If you are, if it is the middle of winter, just take a shot of this. You'll be, you'll. Half a shot. You don't even need a full shot. A half a shot. I mean, it depends on how cold you are, where you're at. That's true. But I say out of any of these, you just from us tasting them separately, mm -hmm. I would not be mad with any purchase of any of these boxes. Oh, of course not. No. Trying them by themselves. What's your favorite? I say the five or the XO. I'm on the same page. I think they just add enough depth and character. I think to the them. dessert mm. flavors are, but I don't know. I mean, the original dark Olive too is pretty baller. You can't go wrong. You really can't. Yeah, I. Not this is these. this is definitely I think one of the ones where you buy any of these, you'll be happy and not mad about. It. But let's uh, go ahead and make some daiquiris and see if uh, do we even have eight different glasses? I am so intimidated right now. I'm so excited right this now. This is so many to to try to guess. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't remember what I put in half of them. You know what I'm saying? Like which one's which? Did you write it down? I wrote it down. Oh. Of course I wrote it down. I'm just saying like it's... I'm not gonna guess for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have... Okay. This might be one of the ones where you're, some of the coloring obviously is going to play a part. Mm -hmm. Do you have any initial guess? Three star. Okay. OFTD. I think we already kind of all knew that yep. the three star would be the easiest one to grab. And then these two are probably the five and 20. Okay. But that's it, because the other three are the same color. Right, they're all basically- In the bottle. Variations of each other, plus. So we did a daiquiri. We did what, how we like to drink a daiquiri, two ounces of rum, one ounce of lime juice, and one ounce of simple syrup. Some people like to do three fourths of simple syrup. We just prefer two on one. I don't have a preference. Yeah. I true. like 
like I'll drink it either way. Right. It doesn't really matter. Um, it just really depends on my mood. Honestly, and it's hot in here, so I'm super pumped to be drinking all of these. And two on one is easy to remember. Yes. You just you just remember it. You pour it. This is a lot of daiquiris, babe. If you've never seen one of these tasting room episodes, and for whatever reason this plantation room is your first one. Riley is going to try all of them. We're going to try them together, yes. talk about it. Then she's trying to trying to guess which one is which daiquiri. So I'm gonna start with the gimme. The this gimme. is this is a gimme. Yeah. There is there is no question that this <laughs> is the three star. It's the XO. You. <laughs> no. It's literally called white rum. Right. And that is just so good. It's so good. <laughs> it just makes me happy. Yeah. It's, it's got the tartness that you want from the lime. It's just. It's, it is what it is. It is a daiquiri. It is a perfect daiquiri. So do we want it? What happens if you get eight for eight? You gotta take me to dinner. I don't know. You guys. A massage? Oh, I don't. I had a massage once. It was fine. Mm, okay. But like people touching me. No, like, no, you gotta take me. If you go eight for eight, we'll go to Madison and have date night there. Cause there's a lot of cocktail bars that we haven't been up there yet. Yeah, I like that. We'll go with Madison. And if you get one for eight, it's McDonald's. We can't eat anything there. I know, that's <laughs> hilarious. Can I get a Sprite please? Can I get a salad without <laughs> cheese? Let's move on to the, we're gonna do the champagne. Flute. Flute. The flute. It smells like a daiquiri. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. It's not as tart as the three star. There's like this florally note. Florally note, but it almost kind of reminds me of like bitters. It has that kind of like yeah. holiday kind of Christmas kind of. Yes, but there's more caramel in it too. Mm -hmm. They all taste so different, mm -hmm. but like. Once you add the lime there juice. There are so many. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a long episode, guys. Thanks for sticking around right. with you. Make yourself a daiquiri. Play at home. Ah, this, this is funk. I should have taken notes. Should have taken <laughs> notes. Why didn't I take notes? Of course I didn't take notes. And she tells me to write stuff down all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, delicious. Ooh, wow. That. That's a ride. That's funky. That uh, We did a what TF daiquiri. The WTF daiquiri. Yeah, and that is very similar to that. Yes. It was the original dark that had the most fun, right? I think so. Is it divided with five? No, five years in it. Five years pretty mellow. That's, it's not that. We'll just keep moving. Keep moving on. I'm gonna, my preliminary guess is that's the original okay. dark. Because once you're doing process of elimination, you can start narrowing down. That one's a little bit orangey. Ooh, this one's fruitier. Yes. It, and like a, almost like a fruit salad kind of way. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, the fruit cocktail that you get in a can that you know you eat as a kid. With the cherries in it. You know, yeah. and like you think you're eating healthy. You know, like, oh, I'll yeah, eat my it's fruit. All it's all sugar. sugar. <laughs> this is that. This is what that reminds me of. This one's so full. Mm -hmm. That one's straight citrus. I should have taken notes. Which one was citrusy? Oh, I remember. That's my least favorite so far. Yep. It um, just I, I want, it's the dry one. I think, I think it's the dry one. Put that there. Yep. Zymaka. I think this one needs a richer syrup. Right, which, why, which is why I think it's the dry one. Right. It's all citrus mm -hmm. and almost nothing else. Yeah, I think this one needs like a Demerara syrup or something. Oh, yeah. Or some coconut. This is the OFT, I'm certain. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my nose. <laughs> I'm afraid of, to light a match or fart in here because I might blow up. <laughs> yeah, we, but it's really good though. It's, it is very good. There's no doubt about it that it's the OFTD though. And I, and I think this one also needs a Demerara to I think balance it, it out. Balance it out. Yes. I wouldn't be mad about ordering that in a bar. No. I would actually probably be happy with the ABV for the cost ratio. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we were, when I was making this, we were talking like, if I would ever open my mama bar, put a two limit cocktail on this and put that on the menu. I think a lot of people would be intrigued by a two limit cocktail. Like, ooh, I want to know why. This has a weird, not musty, but okay. kind of like the same realm. Mm, yeah. 
going in. Oh, that's so pretty. Pretty? <laughs> oh, it's pretty. Mm. Oh, this. Oh, that's straight up juice box. It's pretty. It's like, yeah, it's like a juicy juice, mm -hmm. but like floral. Yeah, or like a Capri Sun. Mm -hmm. like a mm -hmm. certain, I don't remember what flavor of Capri Sun, but it kind of gives me that. Yeah. Okay, I see that. See where you're going here. I'm pretty much going to take you to Madison. And this I, one is so caramely on the nose. <laughs> what I'm really irritated about right now is I haven't picked out the pineapple by itself. Mm, that's true, yeah. I think this one, I think if you did a split Demerar and Normal Simple. No, that's, I like that the way it you is. You like it is the way it yeah, is. Yeah, because I feel like if you added Demerar, it'd be a little bit too mm. rich. Maybe not a rich Demerar. That's a 20. This is a 20? Yeah, put it behind it though. I'm not 100% on that. Okay. That one goes here. I think, and this is probably the pineapple. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and take a sippy sip of each and see if I can pull out pineapple because I'm, I am offended at my palate. I'm disappointed in my palate because I haven't picked out the pineapple. And I wanna say it's this one and this has kind of been what one, I've been leaning right. with. I honestly, like, I'm not trying to trick you on this one because I don't remember what the first one I poured to the like, sick one I poured. There could be pineapple in that. I think, I think that's a pineapple. It's so fruit forward. Mm -hmm. That's and definitely. And it's not limey. Mm -hmm. So that has to be the pineapple right. one, right? Because there's no other one that had that much fruit. Right. In it. And that much like juicy, like non-citrusy mm -hmm. fruit. Right. <sighs> Fuck. This one is so funky. This one is so funky, and I don't remember. This one might be my favorite. It's because you like the smother cups. You like the funky stuff. Like funk when it comes to beer. I'm not a huge. I'm not a huge rum fan in in general though. When we first started dating, rum was not an option. Not at all. See, that doesn't taste funky by itself. No, there wasn't. There was a funkier one here. It was the five year. Five year wasn't that funky. No, because it mellowed it out. It was, let us know in the comments which one. <laughs> Remind us. <laughs> I'm gonna have to lock this one in here because the other, the rest of them, I distinctly remember the flavor, dominant flavors and none of them were major funk. Right. Like this one was funky, but. Like this one was funky, but there's so much like mm -hmm. dry curacao flavor in it. I don't think it was that. Dryness, not specifically dry curacao, I just said dryness too. But it, it is very orangey. That is true, and you're true. I'm gonna lock this in. Okay. And see, this is what happens when you add just lime juice and sugar. It They enhance the spirit in a whole yeah. other way. Yes. And I think that's why daiquiri is such a good cocktail. And it's the reason you like a gimlet so much too. It's like these three ingredients enhance, and that's why I think it's very important right, because to have the right liquor with that. Because when you think about it, lime and sugar, mm -hmm. that's your base for a gimlet, a daiquiri, a margarita. Mm -hmm. Is there a whiskey cocktail? Lemon juice, it's a whiskey sour. Right, but so like, it's the yeah. same thing. So, I mean, those three ingredients are base for so many, mm -hmm. like it's the, it's the classic. I mean, right. there are so many branches up from that. You know, this kind of reminds me of like when I watch cooking shows like Master Chef, Top Chef, and the contestant does like something simple. Like you can't hide behind this because it's so simple. Like you right. have to be spot on. And I think this is these three ingredient cocktails. The the spirit does make a huge difference. You have to be spot on with right. what you're doing. This one is so limey and so citrusy, and there's almost no. There's almost no other notes than just the mm -hmm. the citrus. So I'm gonna say that that has to be the zymaka because the zymaka is so citrusy by itself. Mm -hmm. it, it's gotta be that. The finish is so unique on that one, which... It's so dry. Mm -hmm. It's so dry. It would be weird. Why would any of these others do the same thing? Right, and then there were three. And probably then there were seven because Riley got all of them wrong. This one is still... These two, I'm still. Yeah. But I'm I'm almost certain that this is a Fiji. I was certain that this was a Fiji on the first smell. It's just this is my favorite. 
out of all of them. Mine's, yeah, that one and I think this one are my favorite. See, I think this one's your favorite because it's funky. Mm -hmm. This one is my favorite because it is the closest thing you can get to a tinky, tiki drink in three cocktails. Or in, in three, three ingredients. ingredients. Uh, yeah. It's wild. I get a little bit of coconut. I get a little bit of hibiscus. I get a little bit of the lime, but it's not overly present. Right. There's some just like general tropical fruits in this. So it's gotta be this. It's gotta be that it's one. It's gotta be. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. And I mean, this is kind of a testament to the fact that rums are all so different. Oh yeah. Like even from the same distillery. And I think this is why so I think this is why so many people love rums and love tiki drinks and stuff like that because right. there's such vast flavor profile. I knew going in that the five and the twenty were going to be the hardest to compare because right. they taste so similar. <sighs> see, but see that caramel mm -hmm. is the this this is caramely. This is vanilla vanilla and toffee, but like, this is not caramel either. I'm going to have to go with my gut instincts, and, my initial... And that's what you kind of have to do at some point, because you're going to overthink it. Well, because like this one, I remember being so sweet, so desserty, and I feel mm. like this one was tasted more like dessert. But right. let me double, let me double check that, but I think that's going to go there. You just gonna have to go. Why are you being? Why? Why do you do this to me? Oh, can we go back to threes? <laughs> I don't know. But I don't think that's right. But I think it is. I don't know. No, we're switching it just based on color. This guy is gonna go over here. Okay. This guy's gonna go over here. Okay. Locked it in. No. This is correct. It is. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Okay. That's. Okay. That is not correct. No. That's why. I bet that switches with this one. That is not correct. No, what? That is not correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so disappointed. This is correct? Uh, yeah, duh. Nope, this is not correct. What? No, you're lying to me. No, I'm not lying to you. Three star beer class, that's <laughs> correct. <laughs> so then that one obviously is wrong. Incorrect. So you got two correct. The XO. Is this one? Ugh. The Isle of Fiji. Is this one? Is the Alchemist Glass? No. This one. What? The Five Year. Is this one? <laughs> Dark is the Nicanora. Of course. The Pineapple is the Stud Glass. I told you. I knew. I knew that. As soon as as soon as you told me the Fiji was wrong, I knew that was the Pineapple one. And the Exam is the Martini Glass. So, what this tells us is adding lime juice and simple syrup completely changes. changes things. Yeah. I also believe that we have destroyed our taste palettes by trying eight different rums and then trying them daiquiris, which they're very citrus for cocktails. Probably. However, what it comes down to is the cocktail matters. The rum that you use in oh, the cocktail. Oh, 100%. Absolutely matters. And something that is floral and fruity isn't going to be floral and fruity when you mix with fruity things. That's why this is important. That's mm -hmm. why, so trying cocktails with different, like things that yeah. don't compare to each other, even though these are made by the same people, mm -hmm. these do not compare to one another in flavor in the bottle and then in a cocktail. Right. So which one is your favorite? I liked the martini, was it the stud or the alchemix glass I liked? I liked the studded glass the, the most. I think we both liked the yes. same too. So. I like these two. But this one was really good, the, yeah, the dark rum. The dark rum. So I think this has been a great tasting room. I think, yeah, obviously it's a big challenge in trying to do eight. I mean, the odds of getting eight are astronomically insane. And the, I'm not even a rum person, so the, mm -hmm. so the fact that I got two right was pretty, I mean. One no, was a gimme. No, both of them were gimme. <laughs> yeah, Let's be honest, true. they were both gimme. They were both gimme's. Um, but, but again. It tells you the variety of mm -hmm. rum. I'm gonna grab this one, because I like XO. I'm gonna grab the pineapple because that was my favorite. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Thanks for hanging around. I know it was a long one. <laughs>